Hello, and thanks for watching. I'm Paolo Shikarian, CEO and co-founder of Syracon. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the Syracon web-based user interface. So here we go. As you can see here, we've logged in to the Syracon Priority web-based interface. And what you see in this dashboard view is a list of recent vulnerabilities the system has collected information on, organized by CVE number, and most importantly, the Psi rating score. And remember, if you've seen some of the other videos, the Psi rating score is a relative likelihood. So a score of 2.24 seen here is 2.24 times more likely to be exploited than your average vulnerability. So if you don't have any intelligence on it, the Psi rating essentially is one. Now, clicking on a vulnerability, so we see here this one has a uh, Psi rating of 38.46. We click on it and we see a lot of associated information. We see information about a new exploit for this vulnerability, a very recent tweet, um, a little bit of a, oh, it looks like maybe a Mandarin hacker discussion. And, you know, here is a, another blog post as well. So all that information that supports the Psi rating score is right at the tip of your fingers. Additionally, if you want more information about the vulnerability, so for example, this one has a little leaf by it saying that there is an upgrade available. And if you click to expand here, there's even more metadata along with some information on where you can find proof of concept code. So notice we have a couple different sources for that. Uh, in addition, here is a direct link to information about an upgrade uh, to upgrade that. And so uh, that's some of the basic information you get by using the platform. Additionally, we have indicator icons. Now these indicator icons that appear below the Psi rating, these are not uh, what's driving the Psi rating score. Remember, the Psi rating score is driven by a machine learning algorithm that considers all of the hacker conversations you see here, as well as some of the metadata I showed you. But we just have some vulnerability management teams that we deal with, actually a lot of them, that really like to have that little bit of extra information because maybe they have policies. So P means that preval has executed. Preval is a secondary algorithm that uh, produces what we call synthetic intelligence. So there's not been a hacker discussion, but maybe there will be and we're predicting that to happen. D is a hacker discussion. POC means proof of concept code, so something like packet storm security or uh, that's not necessarily been weaponized yet, but the proof of concept is out there. C is code snippet available, so if there has been code snippets in the hacker discussions, uh, that will be highlighted. PF is for a pen test framework module, so really common one we see is Metasploit, but there's other uh, frameworks besides Metasploit that we also collect information from and EX is exploited in the wild. Now in uh, our user interface, there is a nice feature called NIST low score. You click on that and you see software vulnerabilities where there was a low or medium NIST score and the associated intelligence uh, has caused Psi rating to trigger to be a very high value, so we have that. And there's also the sidekick feature where here we can take, I'll show you a, uh, uh, this is test two file as a result of a uh, Qualys scan, so I can drag and drop that in there, and I can click on uh, click on UI analysis and submit that file. And here is the results of the vulnerability scan, uh, explorable in the user interface. And so there, there you go. All the same features there. Um, a nice thing about this, too, is also as you go through the metadata, you can see the history of the Psi rating score over time. So if there's been a change in the score uh, and you want to see it graphically, that's there as well. So uh, that's all about I'm going to show you today in the web-based user interface. Uh, thank you for taking the time to join me today in this uh, quick tutorial. And please stay tuned to syracon.ai for more video blogs. Take care.